here's the DevOps again. On this, in this training, we're going to talk about closing, which is something, like I said, we've already reiterated a lot of the stuff, but we're going to reiterate it yet again, and we're going to talk specifically about closing. So here's the thing. A lot of people think closing is kind of the pushy thing and all that kind of thing, or please run my thing and, you know, that type of thing. It's not at all like that. The best way to close anyone is to ask questions and one, manage the energy. Okay, you're in posture and keep control of the conversation. And by keeping control of the conversation, I'm talking again about asking questions. The one that's asking the questions it has the control of the conversation. It's not pushy, you don't have to be pushy, nothing like that. You're basically just collecting decisions. So make sure, that, and I'm gonna reiterate this as well, make sure you're using the company tools, the videos, this is a call, etc. It's duplication. You know, if you're doing your own presentation, you know, and you're really, really good at doing a presentation, don't do that. Because here's the thing, people are looking at you and they're thinking, wow, you know, I have to learn how to do that too. And, you know, it's not very duplicatable. You need to be using the company tools, the video, sizzle, sizzle call, or whatever for duplication. You need to make sure that whatever you're doing, the people that you recruit can do that as well. Otherwise, you know, it, it's just gonna be not, it's not gonna work for them. It's gonna be hard as well, and they're not gonna wanna do that. They're gonna say, well, gee, I don't, you know, he's gonna do it in a presentation, but I don't think I can do that, right? So anyway, what do you do, the questions? Well, first of all, when you call somebody back, you always wanna ask them the first question, did you watch the video? And if they didn't, you don't want to get defensive. You don't want to appear desperate. Like, you know, you don't want to say something like, you didn't watch the video. Oh my gosh, it's really, you know, that type of thing. You don't want to do that. You know, if they didn't, if they did watch the video, first of all, you always want to ask, well, what did you like best about what you saw? Okay. And if they say something like, well, you know, I don't know. I've got some questions, some concerns. I don't know, you know, whatever. You still come on and respond back in a postured way. Well, perfect. Yeah, you know what? We'll get to that in a moment. But first, what did you like best about what you saw? And then just shut up. You know, you pause. You wait for them to respond. And you listen. Okay, it's always important to dig a little bit too as well. You know, like like if they say, well, you know, yeah, I, I, I like the money. Or, you know, the other thing that I've heard that works really well, too, is, you know, what did you like best about what you saw? Or you could say, or, or you could say something like, well, what did you like best? The money or the travel money or the uh, whatever you've got going on or, or both, the money or the product or both. And when they say, uh, you know, you pause and you wait for them to respond and you listen again. And like I say, you always dig a little bit. You know, like, why did you want, why do you want to make more money? You know, what would you use the money for? Okay. And, you know, you listen, really, really listen. Keep control of that conversation. And, you know, if it looks like they're all positive, you know, just say something like, sounds like you're ready to get started. Or sounds like you're ready to join. Or, you know, or something on that order. Go ahead and collect the decision. Right. And a lot, surprisingly, try it, try it. Because surprisingly, a lot of the times they'll say, well, yeah, I guess I am, you know, and they'll go ahead and, and they'll get started. And then, you know, quit talking at that point. This is the other thing that's really, really important. A lot of times people will keep talking and do this and do that. Keep, keep quiet and just go to the website, go sign them up and, and don't talk. Don't talk too much after at that point. Go ahead and, and uh, sign them up. Because, you know, you can literally talk them out of joining if you keep talking away. And that, that, doesn't, that doesn't work, okay? So here's some other questions that you can ask. You know, why are you open to a home business, okay? And what has recently changed in your life that you would be open to home business? And why do you feel you haven't met your goals yet, 
Okay, if you had a magic wand, you could do anything in the world, what would you do? Okay, why now? Why is now the right time? Okay, and how much money have you set aside to start a new business? This is a good one, right? Um, you know, a lot of times they'll save more money than it would cost to start a network marketing business, right? Um, what, what didn't you like about your past uplines? You know, this is for someone that's actually been in a network marketing business. You know, it gives you some ammunition. Truly listen to their, their responses because it gives you uh, ammunition. You learn a lot more and it's a whole lot easier to ask questions than it is to try to convince somebody. You know, you don't want to try to convince somebody. It doesn't work. Anyway, uh, how would it feel to create success with our company? You know, and have you taken a long time to make a decision in the past? It's a good one. Are you currently being groomed for success? That's another good one. Okay. And you want to end on a downswing and not on an upswing. Okay. When you ask on an upswing, it sounds like you're not sure of yourself. You know, like, like, uh, gee, gee, not, do, do you want to join? You know, now it sounds like you're ready to join. Okay, make it a postured response. Okay, and be declarative. Watch your tonality. And then, you know, if they didn't watch the video, you know, yeah, no problem, totally cool. You know, hey, I hope you don't mind, but I need to prioritize my time and get back to the people who did watch it. You know, I'll reach back to you in a couple weeks or so. Okay, this is a really, really strong response and it shows posture. And you gotta think about this for a minute. What does your prospect think when you say, tell them something like that? You know, most of the time they think they're missing out on something and that's what you want them to think. You want them to think they're missing out on something. If you act defensive, it causes people to think that you doubt your product or your opportunity. And you don't want that. You know, you want them to, to think you're a postured person and yeah, they're missing out on something, okay? The knowing what you have without the need for external approval or acceptance, that's what posture is. You know you've got a good thing and if they're not open to it, you know, there's, there's lots of people that are open to it. You know, you don't need to defend what you're doing. You, you just don't. Anyway, the recap, always say, did you watch the video? Because you want to find out whether they did or they didn't. Uh, what did you like best about what you saw? And then, wow, sounds like you're ready to join. Or, wow, it sounds like you're ready to get started. Okay? And, and do those declarative responses. Surprisingly, they will work. And people will quite often say, well, yeah, yeah, does sound like it. And then they'll go ahead and sign up. At that point, keep quiet and go ahead and sign them up. Don't keep talking. Okay, that's, that's really important because if you keep talking, you're going to talk them out of joining anyway. So, uh, favorite closing questions. Why are you currently open to a home business? What did you budget to start your home business? What, would you be open to a side project if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? Okay, if you don't join this, what other things do you have in mind to achieve your goals? Okay, were you serious about that? you know, used after they say they're open, all right? If you don't do this, how else would you accomplish that? Additionally, ask them if they're coachable. And if they say yes, then say, great, let's get you signed up. We'll get you plugged into all the training and I'll help you get what you want. Again, manage the energy, be postured.